Hey everybody, welcome to Field Report. So I obviously haven't done one of these in a very long time, um, but I figured this seems like an appropriate juncture to do one. So I am currently standing in our very, very sparsely furnished new flat, which we'll be moving into within the next couple of weeks. Uh, just down there, we have our entryway door, and this nice little narrow entry, which, which has admittedly caused more than a few problems in terms of work and working out how to get furniture in here. Uh, but we then come delightfully into what will be mostly living room, as we can tell presumably by the sofa. Uh, we're figuring of having like a TV or something over here next to the freezer. And then on this side we have the area that which will soon become Fuzz's new office. Which, being a wild player, is very convenient because it's within about five meters of both the bathroom and the kitchen, where I imagine I will be making most of our dinners, as usual. Uh, thankfully, this chance to actually, like, move and get everything out of boxes again does mean I've gotten to resurrect my old, actual, like, university kettle, which merely does need a bit of a scrub, but it will actually glow blue, which means it actually remarkably much, like, matches my new headphones. Hooray. Uh, an electric oven, brand new fridge, brand new freezer, brand new microwave, brand new set of like Christmas candle, Christmas calendars. Eh, courtesy of my mother. Very nice. Always good to have a can have, have a, a calendar. Uh, through here, we of course happen to have the bathroom where things will not be displayed on camera, often at the very least. And then we have of course the bedroom where things will definitely not be displayed on camera, but, uh, I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll do some kind of live stream from my bed, like, to live up to my namesake. But I imagine the point that everybody that is really interested in seeing is through this door that I haven't as yet identified down this corridor. So if I open up this door... Ta-da! Welcome, everybody, to my new office. We have ample space for things like clean screens, and multiple monitors, and all manner of plushies and merch, some of whom have already moved in so far. Uh, not too much has come in here just yet, because most of it I actually still need to make videos, <laughs> but uh, should be in here fairly soon-ish. Uh, I did manage to grab a few choice things that I figured I could probably manage to just easily fit inside of a backpack and bring those down. Uh, the biggest thing I'm actually kind of most proud of in here is down here. These are two Game T prints, one of GLaDOS and one of Mewtwo. The GLaDOS one's the newest one. The Mewtwo one that I hear I've had for over a year, just sitting in a bag because I had nowhere to put it. And these are both signed by AJ herself, and they are going to be proudly positioned over here on this wall. Where we go then, because we see them in pretty much every single episode of my series is from here on. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to start making videos in here, it's going to be so cool. And just uh, just in case I get a bit too heady on the business stuff, I have this lovely recliner chair, which I mildly had to fight for, but it is so lovely. So if I need, be, if I need to take a rest, I can just pop out of my new office chair and I can take a rest here. No, but I might catch, might catch a few weeks. So as you can see, the place is still rather sparse at the moment. Uh, we've still got a few different pieces of furniture coming in. There's a bunch of shelves to go into my office. There's uh, a few other pieces that we're looking for. We are hoping to maybe get a TV. We're not 100% certain on that. Uh, but it'd be great to have an actual TV in front of the sofa that we can actually go and like watch movies on because, as you can see over here, I have quite a few. And that is about close to one third, maybe, well, definitely less than one third, but close to it, uh, of all of my DVDs. And uh, we we enjoy our movie nights here in the foxhole. <laughs> or the fox den, I guess it'd be. I guess my office is technically the foxhole. Um, I might have to have a sign like that on the front door somewhere. Hmm. Um, other than that, uh, future plans I have, like, we're, we're definitely not going to be in our final, like, iteration inside of this, uh, this new location. Um, future plans, I'm thinking, like, there's a space behind the door in my office. I don't know if I managed to catch that on camera, mostly because it's currently full of packing furniture. <laughs> um, 
that uh, I think could support a small desk, and at some point in the distant future, maybe I would love to have an actual dedicated rendering computer in there, so I can just shuttle them off across the the home network and then just render them there and keep going elsewhere, and like they'll shoot them up quite ha quite happily. That would be pretty sweet. Um, Currently, the desk itself as well in my office isn't in its final position either. Uh, it's in roughly the same position, but it'll be uh, shoved back towards the wall once I actually get the wires behind it. Uh, which means there's going to be quite a bit more space between the desk and the uh, the lounge chair, which will have some uh, some nice little like uh, cube shelves next to it as well, which we're still waiting to be uh, sorted out just yet. Um, that will give me enough space to have an actual like standing, uh, set, like, self-supported, uh, I don't know what the phrase here is exactly, um, freestanding, <laughs> freestanding green screen, and that will be really handy, because I'll be able to just shoot a bunch of light onto that, and we can actually get some, uh, some custom locations, some custom backgrounds, my face cam is going to become a fair bit more elaborate with that in mind, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, the thing I'm most looking forward to in the new place, uh, being able to cook dinner directly behind Fuzz, because quite often Fuzz tends to like go upstairs while I'm making dinner, and that means I don't really have much of anybody to talk to. Uh, but if Fuzz is like at their desk right behind the kitchen, then I can chat while I'm making dinner, and I like doing that personally. I have a lot more energy cooking whenever I'm making uh, when I'm, whenever I'm making dinner for more than just me. Uh, but right now the plan is that we will assemble the furniture, we'll start shoving things in. I think. I am mostly going to try and get the uh, the plushies and such out of here as quickly as as I can, followed by uh, books when we have the actual stands for them, DVDs when I have somewhere to put them, uh, that kind of thing, and then it will be boiling down to what is the bare minimum that we can operate with here uh, before we move. Hopefully, very early December, late November, we'll see. But uh, that is something I want to talk about probably a bit more in the next field reports on this uh, moving of the box hole. So, catch you all next time.